हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल आई एम अरमोगान एंड यू आर वाचिंग निंजा इराकी दिनार यूट्यूब चैनल होपफुली यू ऑल डूइंग वेल गॉड विल गिव यू मोर हैप्पीनेस फॉर यू ऑल आई ट्राई माय लेवल बेस्ट टू गिव यू ऑल लेटेस्ट अपडेट अबाउट इराकी दिनार सो गाइस लेट्स स्टार्ट टुडे द इंफॉर्मेशन वीव बिन वेटिंग फॉर द न्यू एक्सचेंज रेट टू बी अनाउंस सिंस द बिगिनिंग ऑफ द ईयर but nothing has happened so far everything is supposedly set there's a budget in place and the timeline has been prepared but still no progress has been made the real issue seems to lie with corruption particularly with certain corrupt politicians in the Iraqi government who are profiting from the central bank of Iraq CBI auctions this corruption has tainted the process and now it seems that the US treasury is calling the shots soon Iraq will be engaging with Washington officials to discuss what steps need to be taken to regain favor with the US, lift sanctions on some of their banks, and enable Iraq to move forward with economic reforms without the constant threat of being penalized every time they upset the US administration. The CBI has been actively working alongside the US Treasury and the Federal Reserve to ensure Iraq meets international standards. However, those involved in underhanded dealings will continue to face obstacles. The key for Iraq lies in reducing its dependency on the US dollar, which is currently unavoidable given that their economy is entirely driven by energy. To break free from this dependency, Iraq must diversify its economy by developing other sectors. Only then can they tie parts of their economy to the Iraqi dinar and increase its value as they see fit. This has long been the desired outcome getting Iraq to float its currency. Some experts have proposed floating the currency as a solution to the ongoing crisis caused by the high US dollar value in Iraq. Floating the currency would involve freeing the exchange rate from government control and allowing market forces of supply and demand to dictate its value. There are two ways this can be done. Absolute floating, which leaves the exchange rate entirely to the market, and managed floating, where the central bank steps in to adjust the rate in alignment with the interests of the national economy. On another note, expectations are high regarding bond payouts, with some even suggesting that payouts could happen as soon as today or tomorrow. Though we've heard such predictions before, there are key differences this time, which raises hopes that bondholders may finally see real, spendable money. In terms of banking, there are rumors that by midweek, we could at least see a schedule for exchange appointments. if not actual appointments taking place fingers crossed that these developments are real and we'll know more soon while some anticipated this process would begin on october 1st my sources suggest otherwise indicating that it will likely happen before or by the end of the month let's hope for the best in the coming days